The former Supreme Court Justice Professor George Kanyihamba has spoken out on the leadership crisis within the judiciary. His comments come at a time the Office of the Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice continue to operate in a vacuum without substantive heads. Kanyihamba say the current situation marks of a treasonable offense and the acting Chief Justice Stephen Kavuma should be held culpable. But I'm talking about those people who have been parading themselves as acting Chief Justice or Deputy Chief Justice. They don't seem to have read Clause 3 of our Constitution. Clause 3 says that if anyone deliberately or otherwise infringes the Constitution, breaks the Constitution, knowing that they are breaking the Constitution, they stand to be accused of treason against the people of Uganda. In so far as his office or himself continues to help himself out as deputy chief, acting deputy chief justice and acting chief justice, he has to be responsible for answering the offenses against the constitution and the laws of Uganda. Because it seems to me that if you talk to all the judges, whether they are in the Supreme Court, Court of Appeal, or indeed the High Court, they are, have all universally condemned him. On Thursday this week, the chairman of the Judicial Service Commission, Justice James Ogola, told the League and Parliamentary Affairs Committee that Justice Kavma is in office illegally. We are disabled. The judiciary is disabled. Now, for the period we have talked about, the country has been in a quandary. If somebody instructed me, I am only a lawyer, if somebody instructed me, I would be prepared to take up that challenge, certainly. Let the courts decide. As the judiciary continues to fight for its legitimacy, Kanyihamba recently went to court to challenge the reappointment of former Chief Justice Benjamin Odoki as Chief Justice. President Yoweri Museveni had earlier on disregarded the recommendation of the Judicial Service Commission, which fronted the Supreme Court Justice Bat Katurebe as Chief Justice. Which I think the whole legal fraternity in this country say, and I concur, is eminently qualified to be the Chief Justice of Uganda. The President preferred Odoki. It is not his role to direct the Judicial Service Commission to appoint anyone at all. That would so currently the incumbent, Justice Kavuma, who knows the law himself, is acting illegally. On Monday this week, the president of Uganda Law Society, Ruth Sebatindira, met the president to find a solution to this crisis. Museven reported the blame the delay to appoint a chief justice to a case filed by the Western Youth MP Gerard Karuhanga, challenging the reappointment of Justice Benjamin Odoki. Museven said he will await the verdict before he can appoint a substantive chief justice. However, Museveni promised to appoint a deputy chief justice who will serve as the acting chief justice in the interim. Jingo Francis, NTV Weekend Edition.